Okay guys, so we're going to do the next page on the Gravity Falls book. So the last pages we did were the Cursed Doors, which you can see here. And you can check out in my other tutorial videos. This one we are actually doing is Bill Cipher. So that is the one with like the head kind of here and like Bill Cipher on the other page. So we're going to start with that page with the head on. So I think it will be a little bit easier. So I'm literally using the same kind of bits that you've always seen me use. You know, the typical bits and bobs that I normally use. So I'll shove them there for a minute. I just like this pencil, so I'm going to use this pencil. So. Let me see if I can just find something. sharpener so there is actually let's put that there so I stick, I've got a copy of the page that I drew previously next to me so yeah I'm actually going to draw around this circle because it's turn times easier you'll see in my videos I pretty much draw around this one all the time and my ruler so the next thing you need to do is, I'll make sure you can see everything I'm doing, is this, so that is, join, to go to the ends of the circle, the legs through, and we're going to draw a rectangle, but it's going to protrude out of the left hand side of the circle. a bit wonky actually to be fair and I will sort that out in it later when I go over it anyway yeah look that's like nearly two and a half and that's like oh that's two and a half actually Just the other bits and bobs that's fine. It's finding my rubber now because it's been a while since I've been doing this tutorial. So that's a bit better. And you want to see the whole circle still. I'm probably going to thunder and lightning while I'm actually doing this. Right. And then what you need to... Right, you need to do a triangle now. Yeah, I told her when she came down before. Oh, okay. She... What are you doing with them? They're filming, why? Oh, she said we've got thunder and lightning up here. Mm. Right, so that's literally what you want to do. As you can see, you've got a, tri a circle with a triangle and a rectangle. I'm just going to go around this... So I'm going to go around this in pen 
anyway so I'm just kind of making it so you guys can see it a bit better to be honest so that's what you want on the right hand side of the right page right so what I've done is I've pre technically printed out a picture of what I previously did just because that way I can you know copy the exactly how I did it previously but as I've always said to you guys like literally always said and this is I'm just gonna do it for this one like I won't I'm not gonna do it for the other one to be fair if you're worried that you can't do this and you're not very you know you're still learning with the art side basically do this little technique and it will really help you guys The technique is literally this. You can see that picture is supposed to go there. And you can literally, some people will just cut them out and they will actually stick them in because they don't really want to be drawing everything. But I quite enjoy the drawing part of it. So, what I say is cut this out. And if you're not going to be good at drawing, just literally go around it like this. And this will work for any part of the tutorial you're doing with me and um, don't forget to check back on all my other videos to do with the tutorials I'm really using the wrong kind of pencil actually it's quite smudgy see the pain in the arse but yeah if you're gonna right. so as you can see that's literally all you have to do and then you've got the outline and to be honest with you that's like the hardest part but I'm going to leave it there and just draw it normally. So then, even if you have done that, literally, I would go around it just to make it look a little bit better like this. And then just add the little bits inside. His jaw is there. But right, he's got his nose that goes there. And he goes a bit like that. And again, I'll t I'm going to do all the writing and I will tell you literally what it all says. So. Right, and as I've said um, previously in like all my videos, because I get this question so goddamn much, um, literally, pretty much on nearly oh even a couple of times a day um i won't say this book is 100 percent perfect it's not i am not the author i'm not the creator of the program you know genuinely this is my interpretation and what i genuinely think this this book says i've gone through i've read the pages as best as i can and uh, this is what i believe the book says you know, the pages aren't necessarily in the correct order. It's to my best ability. You know, I've, I've always said that to you guys. I don't lie to you guys. I've always told you the truth. But I'm just telling you because I've been asked so many blooming times. And it, it's easier for me just to get it out there again. <laughs> so, um, the best thing to do would probably be... Right, so this side, you want to do little lines like this. And it's kind of like... One of those pictures you kind of see in your science lesson. So we're going to not write the words in there per se at the moment. But we're going to just get these some of these lines in like this. Okay. It kind of reminds me of like, you know, the pictures in your science lesson. So I'm just going to go and draw The ear, I think it needs to do it further up to be honest. And that's why I always say work in pencil. 
as well go over later in pen if you choose to like i do with some of my work not with all of it and if you make a mistake then it's not so bad so you know so that's his ear and you need to do a little line going there This one kind of goes off to there, and this one kind of goes there. So that's like the main part. So obviously you've got a little bill here, which I'm going to draw in a moment. But what you need to do then is the best thing is you want it about here is his eye. So his eye is really simplistic to draw. It's just a shut eyelid to so do a little line. And then you want this to kind of go over a little bit like that. And you've, he's got like a little line there. And then up here, he looks a bit strange, I don't know if you haven't I say he, it could be a he or she. I'm just going because it's bald, I guess, because it's a black. But it could be a he or she. You need to draw like a total eyebrow. And colour that in. So that is our main face. Now the only other thing you really need to do is a couple of little bits of shading. And these are just just normal, like just a few little lines going down here, just showing you know little bits like this. like so uh, he's got a little bit of shading on his chin and then pretty much behind his ear uh, you need to do a little bit of shading down to his neck just about there we're going to make the them lines just a little bit bigger there we go so that's pretty much most things and then you need to do some writing in here so it's only little bits so this says moral like so um, I'm just going to make sure I spell this right because my spelling is the worst part and this one's quite hard to fit in because it's actually quite a big word. It's in like one of the smallest gaps as well. And that says reflectives. This bit here. See, that's why I think it's a bike. There we go. The ladies. domestic so that's pretty much the head as you can see the way it should be right so the other thing you need to do is why would the one i'm thinking about it you need to write a six a one and an eight at the top like so right so the last little bit you actually need to do and i don't even think i'm going to use a ruler per se for this is you need to draw a tiny bill cipher that is like here going into his brain kind of infecting his brain kind of thing so you just need to draw just like a tiny little triangle and try and make the triangle's edges more more rounded i find his edges totally rounded so and then obviously he's got his one little kind of it's almost like a cat eye if you're going to try and draw that bit then you've got These little bow tie. You've 
got his little hat. And I said, I'm going to go over all of this with my, um, with the pen that I normally use, which you see me use. Right, and then you got his little hands. So his hands are like this. Should be too big. And then you've just got his little typical dangly legs. Like so. And then just do three little lines. I feel like he should be actually closer. So what I'm actually gonna do is this, because I'm being fussy. I actually want to chop my pencil. Do you know what? I really want them to invent a sharpener that doesn't get freaking clogged up. <sighs> Might be like my dream. So I'm actually going to just quickly draw him really quickly again because I just wasn't really happy with him. I actually think he should be closer. More sharp to be fair. And it looks like it wouldn't be the same about his little hat. It's almost like an Abraham Lincoln hat. Right. And then from there you need to just do three little wishes like like this. Right. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do some writing here. So I've written this down on this bit of paper actually. Right, so this is this bit here. I'm going to write it and then what I'll do is I will tell you what it says. So. So this says, 
being Bill, the most powerful and dangerous creature I've ever encountered. Whatever you do, never let him go into your mind. So that's what that little bit says. I'm going to need this thing to lean on in a moment. So what we've got is we've got a little drawing here and a little drawing here before we've got some more writing, a drawing and some red writing. So with I'm going to push that forward a little bit. This drawing here. You're obviously going to need your ruler a little bit, so. So this is literally what this little drawing is. It's not a really difficult one. It's quite easy to do. Literally just grab your ruler. So you need to write, uh, this needs to actually be longer. So you need to do a W and an X above the line, then a two and then eight, eight and a seven. Then there's a line here, like so. Then you need to write two, O, one, two and a seven at the end of the line. Do another line here and you need to do I think it's a six and a five. Six and a five and then an M and an O. And just underneath here you need to do three of these little lines like the, almost like you're drawing the C. Like so. so that's that one literally done I said it is really dead easy like so uh, the next one you've got to do I'll put that there so I can see is literally here Right, so it's just here, and it's we've done this one before like a couple of times now, so it is really easy. You can do it with a ruler or without. I think I do better without a ruler to be fair. So it's literally just a little diamond, like so. And then here, you need to do see. No matter what, I always crap at drawing freaking giant diamonds. It's like they're surely the like most easy poxy thing ever. Like two little diamonds there, and then just three here. Then 
realistic. They're not very even. I'm not very good at drawing diamonds, but I'm also trying not to go too far into the text. No. <laughs> Dumb. So the next bit, what I'm actually going to do is I normally do the writing first. You've got writing here, and then I've got another drawing here. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to move this up so you can like it's here. So I'm going to do the drawing first. That's because it's an important drawing and then I can write the text afterwards and fit it in. So I had something to lean on. Um, right, so again, what I'm going to do is get my little uh, shut the pot. And I'm going to draw around this. It needs to be about here, actually. Mm, okay. Added a bit of red, but it's fine. This page is covered in red anyway. Right, so. And that is the circle. Now, what you need to do is you need to get your ruler... And what we're going to do is, trying to be the best way to do this. Right, so the first thing you need to do is get your ruler and we're going to draw a line straight through the middle. So you're going to start to about here and then you're going to draw to about there. So, it's one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight centimetres about. Okay. And then... What you need to do is you need to go here. And what we're doing is you're drawing like the iris of your eye. So it's like almost like the round bit in your eye. So you draw it a little bit pointy at the top here. And go down. So that line kind of goes in the middle. And then what you're going to do is from these tips of these eye, the iris, you are going to do these lines. Mm. Line it up, hey mate. Like so. And the same with this end here. So, what you're going to do is you're going to line it up with the end. And do that. So, the next thing you need to do is at this end here, you're going to do start in the middle there. And I would say you just want to do half a centimetre either end. Do a little circle on this end. And then a little arrow on this end. Like so. And this one. Again, I would say probably about up to about there. And then this one is actually done like that. I have no idea why, but it is. And you need... Oh, actually. I don't know I've done that. You need to do like I did there, but this bit has to have a circle on the end. I don't like the way around. And this bit needs to have... there and these lines will kind of look I guess a little bit bigger as you go through because they're going through more but they're actually really not so you need to do another line there then another line quite close to that and again you need to do a circle on the end of this one an arrow on the end of that one nothing on this one and then from here where have I put my ruler? Do a little triangle. Like so. And then, best thing I find, if you're going to do this, try and line it up with the end of the page. Because then you know it's, it's pretty much straight. You need to come out from there. And you need to do that. So that is pretty much that done. Right. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to write. I'm going to write here. 
And again, I have written that down somewhere. Oh, here we go. We're going to write this this bit here, okay? And then I'll write it, and again, I will tell you what it says once I've written it. So I'm just making sure you can see, which is good. So. And the only other thing I didn't write on here, so I wanted to do this bit first, was, so I think I'm going to do mine here, is you need to put fig, which obviously stands for figure, and number four at the bottom there. So this bit here actually says, however, if you by chance encounter with this creature, it is possible to close the mind and prevent his chaos. One must simply recite this incantation. Obviously, it wasn't. I've never seen one, so it's fine. And then the other thing I'm going to do now is this is thicker red pen than what you see me write with normally because it needs to be thick. And you need to write do not summon at all costs in like red writing. Yeah. You are writing it in cat box. And then the other thing, and this is optional, because you can you can obviously put a hell of a lot of red. Like I've seen a pe I've seen people, and and they've literally put so much being them in red over the page. It kind of does what I consider spoil the page. So. Literally, like in my previous video, literally all, all I've really done, all I really do is this. So it's a couple of like dots here and there, and then a couple of bigger, bigger squiggles like that, and then mm, up here I did quite a few little dots in there. It doesn't matter if they're a little bit scruffy because that all kind of helps. And you can go on the writing and on like on the pictures, sorry. Sorry, kind of concentrate. Um so you can do like kind of a biggish blob there. I'm gonna do a biggish Lob there. And we'll just do that, and we do some down here. So, a 
little bits kind of through this writing. Like so. And like that is what I'm happy with. Like personally. Um, I don't want to go over to the point where I said some people like you literally can't even read what they've written and it it's if you put too much I think it spoils it personally but that's up that's your choice so uh, the other thing I'm gonna quickly do is is literally this just go over a couple of these I'm not gonna go over this in pen just because I didn't in my last one because I don't feel comfortable with going over certain drawings pretty much people out there that probably be able to draw like these diamonds better than me I can't draw them to save my life I don't think So that is pretty much that bit. Right, I'm going to try and move this along a bit to here. Um, all I'm actually going to do again is go over this. And then um, I've got the last couple of bits to go over, which is this. So it's that bit. I'm not obviously going to rub any lines out yet because it will smudge. And then there's just this, this one here. Into the angle so you guys can see everything. 
Ah, oh, what's this? The only other thing that I noticed I literally missed was the little three wavy kind of lines here, which I'm going to go over now. And then, which I also just missed, is these ones up here. So the six, the one, and the eight. So. That's what I'm going to do is... I'm going to do that page like that and then I am going to upload this page and then I'm going to do the Bill Cipher page as well today but upload that separately just because it will make it a lot easier uh, and also less running time as well because otherwise I find you guys prefer it when it's a short video so obviously thanks very much for watching don't forget to check out all my other gravity full stuff I've obviously doing a tutorial and you can see all these pages and how to do these pages and what they say um, on my tutorial so don't forget to check out that as well so thanks very much for watching and I will see you soon cheers bye